you want to make the opening yeah, comments? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you bet. Well, first of all, I think uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out, and it was good to see faces uh, in the stands. Our guys were excited. Uh, I think they felt that today. Probably a little nerves, a little energy, uh, which was what we need for our practices right now anyhow. Uh, but it was good, and uh, all the fans that came out here appreciated uh, spending their Saturday with us, and uh, I think we did a good job of, of kind of making sure they knew what we were doing in practice. Brad LaRondo was running the mic there, uh, did a wonderful job from what I heard, uh, kind of telling everybody what we're doing. But a uh, good day today. Our guys, they enjoyed it. Uh, this is good for us. Uh, and not just because we have fans out here and kind of just playing in front of them and, and uh, providing that environment, but just go back to last spring, there was no spring practice. All right, this is our third practice uh, that we've had. We missed one with the tornado watch just the other day. So it should have been our fourth, but these guys uh, did a really good job of preparing themselves to come out here and, and get, get after it. Um, some things were good, some things were bad. We'll go back and correct it. We're gonna watch meetings here in a couple hours and then uh, we'll get these guys out of here and go have a little bit of fun tonight with them. So uh, with that, open up for questions. Yeah, I'd say so, it was solid right now. We're, we're, we're putting in new systems, so a lot of this is all the DNA. Uh, it's all base. You know, the adjustments, all the, the other stuff off the concepts right now are not in. So we're just, we're right into the base foundation, DNA of, of what we're installing um, on both sides. And special teams, we'll get into some concepts. We're really doing drills right now on special teams, looking at fundamentals, looking at what players fit. Um, the big four on special teams and where we want to put them. And then we'll start putting some depth charts together. We'll start getting into punt. We'll get into punt return, kickoff return, kickoff. You saw us do some field goal today, field goal, field goal blocks. We've got that in. Um, but overall, it's been solid. I still think, you know, just as a staff, we have some details that we have to continue to keep coaching better. Uh, we have some drills that we've got to stay on point where, you know, we don't mess that up. A couple of those things happened today. You wouldn't know that. I know that. Uh, as players, we got to prepare. And, and really, it comes down to that. I mean, not just for our guys, but for our coaches and every single one of us. Every day, we got meetings. Every day, we sit in there and we go through what the plan is going to be. And we got to execute the plan. And, and I would say right now, that's solid. Um, we're working on it every day. It's still something that, that we haven't done uh, to our standard or liking yet. And so we got another practice on Monday to be better at, and we'll just keep building, and we'll go back and evaluate what do we do as a staff, what do we do as a team, all right? Are we making the type of progress that we're hoping for, or are we, uh, what are the mistakes we're making, how do we fix them? Uh, but overall, solid for our guys and our coaches right now. Jason, what was the day like to have fans here? How much fun do you think it's for players to kind of have a day like this? Yeah, I think it's awesome. I really do. I, I tell you what, I had fun. It's good to be out here, and, and uh, you know you feel that too. You got people in the stands, and you get the nerves, right? You kind of get those butterflies, and I think that's a good thing, right? That helps you. That's how you should feel when you come out and something's important to you. You should feel that way. You've got people in the stands watching. You know they're evaluating, and you know they're going to have opinions. And you want to go out there, and as a player, you want to perform. That's what you do, right? At practice, you perform. You should want to perform every practice. You're trying to put yourself in a position to get more plays or to be a starter or to make an impression, and you get a chance to do that here in the stadium, all right, and here in front of our fans. And so I, I appreciate the fans being out here. It's a good day for us. Uh, one is just the excitement of, of hopefully getting that idea of football is coming back, right? We're going to have it this season. We're going to play. We all hope that we can have a full stadium. But I think that environment we created today and having the fans out here was, was pretty cool for our guys. Brian Matthews up center, Tyler Gibbs line up. What do you think about the young uh, group of receivers so far? Any of them stand out to you? Uh, they've been good. Yeah, we got a few guys that are still hampered with some injuries. We got a few uh, just little knee aches and some hamstrings, some quads in there. So I don't think we've seen our wide receiver group at full strength right now. Um, we didn't see it today. This, you know, I think they were slipping around on the surface a little bit today. We got to do a better job of getting in and out of our breaks and those type of things. But uh, they've been solid. They're working hard. I'll say that. But uh, you know, we gotta we gotta keep working that group. We gotta keep developing in, in the system that we have. And you see them. They're moving around. They're they're moving across formations. They're coming from different places. 
And so just a little bit of that, being able to move, see, operate, and execute your assignment, uh, that's just new. Uh, so they are, they've got a good attitude. I think uh, Coach Williams has done a good job with them. The attitude's been there. Uh, the effort's been decent. Uh, the execution needs to improve. We're out there making some of the plays, and, and that goes back to quarterbacks, uh, everybody executing. You know, and I look at it just on air, right? We want to be 100% on air. We, were, we weren't 100% on air today. And so we're just not there yet. We're not consistent enough, uh, but they are working. And, and I'll say this, from practice one to three, we're much better than what we were, but still not where we want to be. And I think those guys know that. They appreciate that. And we're going to keep pushing those guys to take the next step in Monday's practice, and then we'll see where we are going into Wednesday's practice. Well, the amount of people was great. Yeah, I thought it was awesome. I mean, we had, I don't know how many we had, but it was good to see people in the stands. Uh, just the idea behind an opportunity, we're going to come in here in the stadium. Uh, I think the, just the energy that it brings. Um, you know, there hasn't really been a lot that we've been able to do to get out in the community. So if you think about it, you know, as this transition came about, we have a new staff. We've got a lot of people now that are new faces and, we haven't had a chance to really get out or do anything. And talking with some of the guys on our staff and Brad Lerondo and some other people, the idea, I mean, we've done this before. I've, you know, an open practice and, um, you know, this was the time to do it. This was a chance for us to be able to get people out, get them around our players, get around uh, people in our community, which we haven't had a chance to do. Let them see some of the coaches, some of the new faces, and, you know, just really show an appreciation that, you know, we're all glad to be here, let me tell you that. Everybody on our staff, all the new coaches, all the new people that are on our staff, we're all glad to be here. And so we talk about that quite often. We haven't really had a chance to express that, I don't think, properly. And so this was a chance to just show some gratitude for you know living in Auburn and being a part of this program and having fans come out here, watch their players, watch this team, watch their coaches, you know, just get a chance to see it and, uh, and spend a Saturday with us. So I hope they appreciated that. We did. And, and we'll kind of see where we go from there. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, I think we're they, they've done it. Uh, they've been under center before. It's not like it's it's that foreign to them. They just haven't done it as much. Uh, I would say we're doing more of it right now for that reason. So there's more under center in our offense right now, just to get used to it, spend more time on it. Um, a lot of those things we can get in the gun and do. But under center, getting our, our uh, run game where we're just hitting it downhill, getting the tracks, getting the path for the quarterbacks and the timing with our tailbacks is important. Taking a drop from under center is different. Uh, there's that pro component, you know, that, that element of, of our offense. And so, you know, we're able to go run some tempo and all that, but it's more of a pro tempo. Get under center, be able to run the ball, get in the gun, do those type of things. We'll play with a fullback at times. So. I think they've done a good job. I think mechanically right now, just as far as the operation of it, we're not we're not to the standard of where we want to be. Uh, Bo's done a good job with that. Your other guys, we've got to improve. And then just, you saw today, just that quarterback center exchange, right? That's a big deal when you get under center. Uh, you're in the gun, sometimes it's a bad snap, right? That can happen when you're under center, it's a, it's a bad snap. That can happen as well. And so we got to be able to clean that up and operate a, a snap from the center to the quarterback. And so it just takes reps. Uh, but after a while, that, 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 that's got to be something that we can do, all right? And that just, uh, not, we have to focus on, we can just do it, all right? That becomes something that's second nature to us and we just, we're not there yet. So we're gonna continue to keep uh, emphasizing under center. We're gonna keep doing that work throughout spring. Uh, we're gonna keep running the ball downhill from under center. We'll keep emphasizing that. We'll have some play action, some drop back from under center, and, and then we'll figure out how much gun under center we use as we get into the summer and then what that looks like as we get into the season. Major change about Ryan. You said when you hired Mike Bobo, you established a kind of mesh and your ideal together. I know it's still early, but how has that relationship been so far? And are you guys kind of on the same page of where the offense needs to be? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're on the same page. The, the, the one thing I like about Coach Bobo, just the, the details on the quarterback development. So the same thing, mechanics of just playing the position, right? How to take a snap, how to set your feet, uh, where your eyes go, what you pay attention to. So there's a lot of similarities there just with the coach in the, the quarterback position. 
Offensively, there's some tweaks. There's some things that he's done that I haven't done. We've implemented. There's there's things that, that I've done, um, probably more of that that we're doing. And so a little verbiage here and there, but it's been good. The, the thing about Coach Bobo, I mean, he gets it. So it might be in this way, and we want to change it. All right, it's, it's easy, right? We can change it. He, he's easy to work with, and we want to change the language of this. We want to change the way that we call this play. We want to change the way we signal it. You know, right now we're, we're able to do that. But at this point, we're really just, it's basic, right? It's all, it's all the base, foundation, DNA. We'll be able to get through that, and then we start getting into the wrinkles, some of those type of things. And, and uh, for the coaching staff, we, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, even with our staff, because they're learning some of this stuff as well. So just every day, you know, for our receiver coaches, running back coaches, it's new. Defensively, same thing. Just we're a little bit slower than what we'd normally be in an install if we'd been somewhere three, four years, right? So we just got to move along. And, and I think the guys are doing a good job. We got to keep preparing now as you start getting into install four. Now you got one, two, and three, and now four. So we're going to start to see guys, all right, how much can they handle? Can we go back to one and execute that play on Monday? Can we jump right into four, execute those plays we got installed, jump back to two, execute a play that's already in? That's where we're getting to now is, all right, how much information can these guys retain, the details of what we've already put in, and we've emphasized, now we're going to find out where our team's at, really with our preparation habits. And that was, uh, that was the message there at the end, right, how we prepare, right? If we just show up and, and just spend the time on that particular install and that's all we focus on, all right, we'll be good for that day until we have to go back to day two and recall a play from there. And we're just, we're working on that, improving our preparation habits right now. We've got to do that in order to continue to keep developing through the spring. Coach Barlow, Phil Marshall. Coach, every coach in Shane is just about I've been a part of, and I'm old, and I've been a part of, and covered a lot of them. Right. But uh, if somebody's low on the depth chart that has been all but forgotten, that is all of a sudden back, and I'm not talking about any specific guy, but how do you handle that as, as a coach? Do you just do you literally start over with all these guys? We do. Yeah, I mean, right now it's everybody's getting reps, everybody's getting an opportunity, and, and at some point we'll start to back off and give other guys more reps. You see it, but early on, yeah, everybody gets a chance. Everybody gets an opportunity to get four reps. The way our reps are broken up right now, you're going to get four, four, and four, right? So uh, you've got your first group getting their four, your second group getting their four, your third group getting their four. Make your reps count. If you want more reps, make your reps count. You might move up a group. You might move up into the starting group, and then eventually the starting group gets more reps than the backup group does and then the third group does. That will change. Seen some guys who might surprise people? Um, well, I've seen some guys. Let me say that. I've seen some guys. <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. It's been three practices. Yeah, I'm not going to make that judgment yet. I've seen everybody do some good things and everybody do some things that we got to get better at. And um, it's still early. We'll, we'll find out when we scrimmage. When we have that first scrimmage, we'll find out. Those guys will get their reps. We'll get to see live ball. And, and then we'll make our determination going into the second half of spring. And there'll be more of a pecking order and depth chart as we get into that phase, uh, that second half of spring ball. Can I take two more, Coach? Gianna Hahn, first year with us. Hey. Yeah, well, I think, number one, Tank's done a tremendous job. Uh, Sean has done a tremendous job. I like both those guys. They work very hard. Um, they're intentional about what they're doing. And not even at practice. Go back to when we started working out. Uh, Tank, whatever the workouts are, uh, I love it because he asks a lot of questions. He wants to know the details of it, which is why he's a good player and why he'll continue to be a good player. Sean's the same way. He wants to know uh, what are we doing, why are we doing it and uh, has shown up out here on the field. I think both those guys did well today. Uh, Devin Barrett, it's been good, right? I didn't know, you know, he was playing uh, on the defensive side, moving back to running back. Uh, I think he's still kind of getting his legs underneath him a little bit. He had a, a slight knee injury, so he hasn't been full speed. So maybe today was one of the first days he's kind of actually feeling like he's back full go. Um, and so hard to tell. 
You know, he, he knows what he's doing. Now, he hasn't been on that side, so he's a little bit behind just offensive knowledge uh, for a while. But we'll see after these 15 practices where he's at. He's got the body type. Uh, I do like his makeup as a person and, and just who he is. I think he can go play physical and play tough. But that that position, that requires it. you, you got to be a different guy to play tailback. And you got to be a guy that's going to be physical, and you got to do it in practice. So you get those reps, and you're prepared for the game. And I haven't seen that from him yet. First day of pads today, so we'll see once we get into more, you know, just padded reps. So we get into a scrimmage. How does he run? What does he look like when he gets his pads down, gets tackled? And how does he respond to that? Yeah, I think it's been good. Um, you know, not knowing exactly all the, I, I watched the previous defense and all that, and they did a good job, right? Uh, and they were coached well. And so it's just different, three down, four down. Uh, there, there's different coaching points, a little bit different with the techniques up front. I think Coach Easton's done a very good job. Uh, I've been very pleased with him. I think he teaches well. Uh, he's got really good intensity. The guys listen to him. And so that front, you know, we'll see as we get in now. Today, I want to watch the film because we had our first padded practice. The helmet practices don't do you justice on the defensive line, right, with the O-line. You're just up there using your hands. And so we'll see some physicality from these guys today, hopefully, when we watch the film. And as we move forward, you know, just how powerful, what are we doing, what kind of movements are we using up front, uh, I think it's going to be important. Because that front seven now, uh, that D-line in particular, those guys got to be on point. We got two linebackers back there that are really good. All right, Zacoby and Owen, both those guys, they can play. Um, they're very focused. They're detailed on what they're doing. So those guys in front, they're helping them out. I don't think those guys up front yet are where they need to be. So they're learning some new things. And, and then just the back end, right, you saw a little bit different there too, right? Probably with the install. I mean, today is we're progressing through. So what you're seeing is just pieces and parts. This is our progression for the third practice. This is where we are in the install. And once we put it all together, what's that going to be? More one high, two high? How's the front going to look? More three down, four down? I don't have an answer for, for you there, but we're doing it all, right? We're doing it all, and then we'll make our determination and decide what that's going to look like after these practices and going into summer. All right, Coach. Good on that. Hey, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. War Eagle.